Hi everyone, welcome back to the computer programming series. This is Bharat back from Prime Patshala. So uh, today we are going to discuss a very interesting thing, right? So uh, like in the last video, in the roadmap videos, we talked about, okay, when we are at complete beginner, we need to start with some easy medium problems, right? So the problem that many CP coders face or many beginners face is that they are not able to decide, okay, which problem should I select to code, right? And this selection is actually really important because wrong selection may make you demotivated towards CP, right? So if you select, let's say, a too hard problem to start in the beginning, it may happen that you may feel that, okay, CP is probably not for me and I should just stop doing it, right? In another case, if it, if let's say you select some very easy problems, so what can happen is you might feel that you know everything, but when you actually end up giving a contest, you may not be able to perform well and then you may feel like, okay, something is wrong. So I should quit basically the competitive programming, right? So the correct selection of problem is very important, especially for a beginner, right? So how should we select problems, right? So there are a few lists that some of the great competitive programmers have created out of their understanding or the roadmap that they try to follow. And today I'm going to present those few lists and give you ideas. Okay, these are the steps that you should follow. And these are the lists that you can follow when you are an absolute beginner or let's say if even if you are in sub intermediate stage, right? So let's begin. Let's look at some of these lists. So yeah, this is the first one, which is a very famous one, which is called junior training sheet, right? So this is, I think, built by Mustafa, a very famous competitive programmer who is, I think, expert in code forces currently. So this junior training sheet is a very good Google sheet, which actually documents uh, problems from category of A, B, C, and D. So A, B, C, D here meets a dip to A, dip to B, dip to C, and dip to D, right? So the first four problems, and if you remember, for going up to specialist, you need to solve quickly the A and B problems. And for reaching somewhere around expert, you need to be able to solve problem C, and sometimes problem D, right? So this becomes a very good sheet for beginners who want to reach up to expert level, right? And they have very few selected questions, right? So if you look at this A sheet, this has questions that are mostly A and B problems from code forces, and they are given in order, right? So they suggest that you first start with this problem, which is Vanya and Fens, Anton and Danik, and so on, you can move on, right? So this is a sheet that I have seen many of my fellow competitive programmers using, right? And they actually got successful results from this, right? This is able to actually also tell you when you want to read a particular topic, right? For example, before starting elementary maths, it says that, okay, read about elementary maths here and then start this portion, okay? The videos may not be useful because they are in Arabic, right? So that might not be useful. But yeah, still you can read from outside sources. Then second possibility of uh, following such a list is A to OJ. This is personally my favorite, right? This is what I also followed during my uh, computer programming days in college. So it actually gives a more granular and better list in terms of uh, considering where you are at currently, right? So they have divided the list. They have made several lists of different, different categories. So if your code forces rating is less than 1300, you should do these 100 problems. Then 13 to 1400, you should do these 100 problems and so on. So wherever you are in terms of the ladder of rating, they have one list for you up to 2200, right? And so they have 100 problems in this main list and 100 more problems if you see in this extra list, actually 200 more problems, right? So that gives a 300 problem. So 300 problems selected ones. So this, these lists I found very, very useful to actually boost your rating to a very high level, right? So this is, uh, this list is compiled by Ahmad Ali, who is again, a very famous candidate master in code forces, right? So apart from these, A2OJ also give problem wise rating, right? So if you don't want to follow this rating or you are unsure whether actually you are, you are at 1300, but you are unsure whether you should follow, follow 1300 to 1400, or you should follow 1200 to 1300. So you can also do it problem level by level, right? So you can start with div two A's list of hundred problems, 
then do div to b's list of 100 problems and so on you can proceed during my time these were the only list these were not there so these five lists i can say are really tried and tested and they are really good to actually push you to a great level in cp right so this is a second recommendation that i would say to follow these a to oj ladders right so come to the ladder section here and you can you will be able to see these ladders okay a third way to do such stuff is to actually follow code forces problem sets itself right so in code forces if you go to this problem set category you'll be able to see all the listed problem right that are there in code forces judge so what you can do so there are multiple features here that you can make use of so first idea is to actually sort by the number of submissions so let me do that so if we sort by number of submissions we'll get the easiest problem this is watermelon problem many people start with this so this is the easiest problem that is there on code forces in terms of number of submission it may not be actually easiest but this is the one that most people have solved right so this is one way second idea is you can actually put difficulty level here right so for example let's say my rating is around 1000 right so i would like to do problems of the rating 1000 to let's say 1200 so i can simply write here 1000 to 1200 and apply right so i'll be able to see all the 1000 to 1200 prob uh, rating problems in the recent contest or from the starting from the latest contest right so this red and blue problem this was i think in the very recent problem education code for around 101 yeah so you will be able to see that as well similarly there is a possibility of adding tag so you can filter by rating and you can add a tag so let's say i want to solve just the problems on combinatorics so i have selected 1000 to 1200 and combinatorics so it has listed the five different problems that are there on combinatorics for this particular rating so here you can first of all do targeted approach that for the problems that you might face problem in the next contest with right so if you are at 1000 probably from 1000 to 1200 problems if they come you might face issue right something less than 1000 probably you will be able to tackle if you want you can keep a buffer buffer by starting with 900 right and then you can target a particular topic as well right so you can say that okay let's say you know that okay graph for me is weak so probably i can add a tag here for selecting graphs and apply right so i'll get all the graph problems that are there within this rating and i can start solving from this problem okay so i hope this video was useful so personally i would recommend to any beginner to stick to one list right though i have given multiple options here just go with one and stick to it right because if you keep on going from one to the other one to the other then you will end up solving easy easy problems or the starting problems and when you actually face difficulty you will try moving to some other list so that is not advisable right so i would say stick to one i would say either go with a to oj or go with this junior training sheet stick to it through and through and try to complete a complete level and you will see that you will get quick results so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and you got some information regarding how you can select problems for starting in computer program right so yeah so thank you for joining and very soon we'll be releasing more videos that will help you know more in depth about the content right where you can study those things or even we can take some of the problems right apart from that in the description of the video you will find these resources that i have mentioned right so the link to the junior training sheet link to a2oj and similarly code forces sorted problem link so you can check them out right thank you